First of all, this thing has had 20 years to root and flourish, largely unimpeded by law. That's to say that we're at the beginning of this, not at the end. So we have to understand that the route now moves through politics. Only democracy, only law, only a new regulatory vision will reign in surveillance capitalism. By the way, in the massive Pew Research study published just this past week, 81% of a US sample says that the risks of corporate surveillance outweigh the benefits, 81%. If you want to see what's coming in the future, pay attention to that number. We need laws that interrupt supply and demand, that disassemble the incentives for the surveillance dividend. That means we interrupt supply. Taking our experience without our knowledge and therefore without our consent or the right to combat must be simply illegal. Let's call it what it would be called in any first or second or third grade classroom. It would be called theft. <laughs> Let's go to the other end. That's supply. Let's talk about demand. We outlaw markets that trade in human futures because we know that they have predictably destructive consequences to human autonomy and to democracy. We outlaw them the same way we outlaw markets that trade in human organs, or babies, or slaves, because we know that they have destructive consequences and are incompatible with our aspirations as a democratic society. That's where we are today.